All right, so to get started, my name is Carissa Williams Murray, and I'm the Regional Director of University Relations for the Southeast at CEA Study Abroad. So, thank you again for joining me um, today to learn more about our study and internship opportunities abroad. CEA is a study abroad and internship organization, and we were founded in 1997. We are a partner of um, UCF, and we facilitate study abroad and internship programs for students across the globe. Um, it is our vision to enhance the employability of 35,000 CEA alumni by 2025. To start off with, uh, we have programs that are suitable for almost every major in 13 countries and 22 cities across the globe. We also offer internships in 15 of these locations. So whether you're looking to study or intern abroad for a year, a semester, or a shorter term summer program, you'll find a wide variety of programs and courses across all of our destinations. So before we hop in, I know that today's session is focused on STEM and psychology programs, um, but before I hop into those, I just want to cover some of our different options. So we offer a variety of program models from which you can choose. You can take courses at one of CEA study centers where you'll benefit from the support of our faculty and staff, and they basically serve as your local experts and support your learning and are just as invested in your study abroad experience as you are. You can also take courses at one of our many carefully chosen partner institutions, and you also have the potential to take courses with other international and local students. And then the last option we have is what we call a hybrid program, and this allows you to take courses at both the CEA Study Center and an international partner university, giving you the best of both worlds. So these next few slides I'm going to go over just cover some of those STEM specific areas and programs. Um, and if you guys have any questions, feel free to um, type in the chat at any time. I'll try to monitor that as I go through these. So I'm going to start us off with engineering. Um, we do have a wide variety of programs that are focused in engineering. And this is one um, area, um, academic area that CEA has put a lot of effort into um, creating in the last few years. So we've created a lot of our own um, engineering courses and we work with some um, partner institutions like Texas Tech and the University of Michigan to develop some of our own engineering programs. So the programs where you see the asterisks, um, such as the engineering in Buenos Aires, the engineering in Paris, Prague, um, Dublin, and Barcelona, these are our study center programs. So this is where you're going to find um, more of the I would say kind of core engineering courses, so those lower division, really design, you know, freshman, sophomore year um, for engineering. And then we have a lot of great partner institutions that you can see here, um, such as the French Riviera, Dublin City University, um, another great program in Madrid. These are going to have more courses that are going to be designed for um, those upper level engineering courses. A lot of these programs are going to be offered during the semester. However, um, we are expanding our summer offerings. So Argentina, Paris, Rome, um, Prague, and Dublin, those, and um, Barcelona, those will all have summer engineering programs. So just some features that I wanted to highlight, each of um, these locations I'm going to focus, or each of these disciplines I'm going to focus on, you'll see some sample courses. Um, note that this is not what you're limited to. I had a hard time choosing courses to pick for each, um, each academic discipline, but just to give you an idea of some of the courses we offer in engineering, you'll also see some unique program experiences. Um, internship possibilities, it's definitely possible to do an internship in engineering. And then, all of our courses, you'll be able to take in English. You don't have to be fluent in a foreign language. We do, again, we have summer and semester programs available um, and a lot of courses to satisfy those core engineering and math requirements. And then the possibility to take those upper elective engineering courses. Next, um, health sciences. This is another, um, I know, popular academic discipline for UCF students. Um, we have a lot of great options. Um, we do have summer and semester programs available. This medical Spanish immersion program in Buenos Aires in Argentina is a newer program for CEA. Um, that is a summer program. And with this, um, you do get to shadow, um, like you do a rotation uh, in a local medical facility or hospital, and you get to shadow different departments 
um, there in Buenos Aires. Another great program, very popular program, is the Medical Spanish and Health Sciences in San Jose, Costa Rica. What you do is you take a medical terminology course in Spanish, and then there's a variety of health science classes that you can choose from. And this program is actually offered year round. So you could do it for an entire semester or just um, a shorter term summer program. Again, some sample courses that you can um, choose from in the health sciences, some of those unique um, program experiences. This, the first one here that you see the participate in a 60 hour clinical shadow Shadowing rotation, that's the Argentina program I was referring to. Again, definitely possible to do internships. Um, we've had some health science-based internships, both in person and even virtually. We've been able to accommodate health sciences virtually. Um, again, courses taught in English, summer, semester, and short-term programs are available. Next, we have psychology. So this is another um, area of focus that uh, CEA has really been putting a lot of efforts into um, in expanding our psychology offerings. Um, this is one of the top three um, majors that do study abroad with CEA. So we're trying to come up with more courses and find more partner um, institutions that do offer more psychology programs. Um, so Czech Republic, um, Anglo-American University in Prague, Child Psychology in Dublin, um, we were supposed to run that for the first time this past summer. We had a good number of students signed up for it, but unfortunately due to COVID, we had to cancel that. Um, but that is a summer option. I believe, I don't know if it's being offered during the semester um, at this point, but summer for sure. Um, business and psychology in Rome is taught at one of our study centers, and that is a semester program. Um, sciences and Humanities in Amsterdam. I know that I think there's both semester and summer um, courses in psychology in the Netherlands. Um, psychology in Barcelona is a semester program. Arts and Sciences in Seville is a semester. And then Exercise and Sports Science, that is a, um, a summer program in Seville. Again, some of the different, um, some of the sample courses that we offer a lot to choose from, um, more unique program experiences. Um, I believe that the second one where you visit the local toy store um, to analyze today's toys, um, that is part of the child psych. That's one of the active learning components um, for the child psych class in Dublin um, that they do. And again, definitely possible to do internships in psychology, courses taught in English, available summer semester and short term. And last but not least, um, programs in science. So with sciences, unfortunately, um, most of these programs are going to be offered during the semester. Um, however, I can say that the ecology in Galway, that is during the summer, summer in Amsterdam, obviously summer, um, both Costa Rica programs, the, the first one is offered, the Spanish language liberal arts and environmental sciences is a semester and a summer program Tropical marine biology um, is actually supposed to be offered in December and January of this year. And then I think it's also offered during the summer. And then organic chemistry, excuse me, organic chemistry in Alicante, that is also a summer program. So when I say sciences, I, there's just like a wide variety of science related courses. So whether it's biology, chemistry, ecology, physics, computer sciences that could also be lumped in with those engineering programs. Um, just a wide variety of different science related courses that you can choose from. And when you go out to our website and search, you should be able to narrow it down more specifically. Like if you're looking more specifically for biology or chemistry courses, you can definitely narrow down um, on our website. And again, some sample courses, um, also hard to to choose and limit what I could put up here. Um, a few different, you know, unique program experiences and certainly internships are possible um, for science-related um, science majors. Courses, again, in English and summer semester and short-term programs are available. And if you're looking to take your studies a step further, you can also do an internship abroad with CEA. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we do have internship programs that are offered in 15 destinations around the world. So you can either add an internship to your study program during the semester or the summer, 
or you can do an internship only program in the summer. And at CEA, you'll work with a NACE certified career coach to help you discover your career and professional goals. Um, the internship is for academic credit, so you'll also be enrolled in our multicultural workplace seminar where you can get between three and six credits um, along with your placement hours. And in this course, you'll not only reflect on the technical skills you're developing during your internship, but you'll also be developing the eight NACE core competency skills, which employers highly seek and value in their employees. And those eight um, core competencies are listed down here at the bottom of the screen. So what's a study abroad experience without being able to immerse yourself in the local culture and explore your surroundings? During your program, you'll have many opportunities to explore the culture around you in and out of the classroom. So whether that's through our award-winning ACAP program, which stands for Academic Integrated Cultural Activities Program, um, this is where your cultural activities are integrated into your course objectives, and there's a couple of different examples there, um, or through our many excursions, day trips, volunteering, wellness activities, career shops, and more. So all of these are available to you, and they are included in your CEA program fee, so that way you can get the most out of your experience abroad. Housing is also included in your CEA program fee and is typically centrally located within your host city. The housing options will vary by location and may include things like homestays, apartments, residencias, foyers, studios, and residence halls. Typically, I, would, I think that apartments are the standard housing option in almost all of our locations. Um, some housing options are considered an upgrade and this will be clearly noted on our website. And then the meal inclusions will vary based on your housing type, but are typically included when you choose the homestay option. If you do require special housing accommodations, we can work with you to address those needs. That's just something you need to let um, CEA know when you're applying. So in addition to the cultural activities, excursions, and housing, everything you see here um, listed here is also included in your CEA program fee. And then depending on which location you choose, there'll be other things that are included in your program fee. So that does vary by location, and it is all outlined um, on our website under each of the cities um, on the website. So when you study abroad with a partner program like CEA, you can still use your um, federal aid and private loans as a UCF student. Um, there are a lot of other external study abroad scholarship opportunities and both your study abroad office at UCF and um, at CEA, we list a variety of those opportunities on our websites. So make sure you check out both the UCF website and our website. Um, you might see some of them are the same, but we also might call out some different opportunities out there um, that you could um, for different scholarships that you can apply for. And additionally, we are committed to increasing access to study abroad and helping students through our financial and scholarship programs. We do offer a variety of scholarships you can apply for, and we also offer flight vouchers throughout the year, the year that you can use for your CEA study abroad program. So what's next? You'll definitely wanna visit the CEA website and explore our different programs. You can check out the different course options and download syllabi link out to our blogs to learn more from CEA alumni, and you can even chat with um, an enrollment advisor. You can schedule a one-on-one -on -one virtual advising appointment for a, a day and a time that works best for you. Um, so you can grab that link here, and I can also drop that in the chat if, that, if you would like that. Um, and then just note that as you're looking through the different programs, that the application deadlines um, will vary by program and by term, and those will be clearly stated um, on the application page of the website. So as you work on your application with CEA, you'll also want to be sure that you're working with the study abroad office at UCF. So they have some steps that you also need to complete. And James, I'm going to ask you to hop in here if I don't have any of this information correct, but this is what I could find on your website. So the first thing you should do is complete a self-assessment, which includes meeting with your academic advisor, evaluating your financial resources, and doing some preliminary research on programs that suit your needs and goals. After you've done that, you should then attend a Study Abroad 101 session, and these are currently being held virtually, and I believe you have to RSVP for this online. Um, this, is a ses this session is just a general session that addresses Study Abroad as a UCF student, and is a great way to get um, a lot of your questions answered. And then once you've completed these two steps, you'll want to select your program, schedule an appointment with the UCF um, 
advisor, and then help, um, and they'll help you begin the application process at UCF. And you can schedule this meeting by filling out the interest form um, found online on the UCF Study Abroad website, and then um, a study abroad advisor will then assist you throughout the entire application process. And then you should also meet with um, Carissa Lawson Harris in the financial aid office to discuss your financial situation and funding for your program. Did I get that all right, James? Yeah, you did great. That's exactly right. Um, I will also add everyone, uh, my name's James. I'm a UCF abroad advisor. Um, if anyone has any questions, I'll be around to um, in the meeting, but um, we do typically recommend our students uh, first complete their UCF abroad application and then work with CEA on their application after we've done the course approval process. Um, and Perfect. we do a whole advising appointment um, just on that. So just like Carissa said, um, these starting steps here, do your self-assessment, your study abroad 101. Um, you can do an open advising session. We do those just like it says on the screen, um, virtually 10 to 12, two to four, every Monday through Friday, we're there for you guys. Um, and then you can get started on meeting up with us and, and getting going abroad. Awesome, thank you. All right, um, and finally, um, tomorrow I am doing a session just on internships abroad um, and our virtual internships. So if what I talked about piqued your interest um, on our internships, you, you're more than welcome to join me tomorrow at 1 p.m. Um, other than that, that's all I have for you. Um, if you have specific questions, let me know. I'll also share some resources. I have some um, like flyers specifically for sciences, engineering, psychology, and I'll share those with the study abroad office. So that way, all of the programs you saw listed on the screen today, um, you'll be able to link to those right through that flyer that I'll share out. Um, with you guys. So if you have any questions, feel free to unmute yourself and ask or just type them in the chat. And here again is that link. I'll see if I can, I don't know if I can copy and paste it from here. Um, if you're interested in scheduling a one-on-one -on -one advising session with a CEA um, enrollment advisor, um, they can talk to you more about you know, the different programs we have and help you identify one that um, could possibly work for your, your major as well. James, is there any other information you want me to cover or anything else you want me to add at all? I don't think so. You've been, you've been very, very thorough. Um, <laughs> I know it's kind of a smaller group today, but guys, this is, um, Chris is a great resource if you have any and all questions about, you know, any of these specific programs with CEA or the application process with CEA in general. If, if there's something you're curious about, you know, she's she's a wealth of knowledge. So feel free to chime in in the chat or um, or unmute yourself if you feel so bold. 